Welcome back, everyone. Next week is September 11th. Mark, and you said it earlier, it's hard to believe, 23 years uh, since the terrorist attacks that rocked this nation. Next week, there's a walk to honor the victims, survivors, and heroes. Joining us now, Bob Lyons, organizers of March to the Memorial, and Cindy Laney, a 9-11 survivor, both 9-11 survivors. So thank, thank you. you both so much for being here. Thank you so much. I want to uh, take a step back really quickly because we were very, very young when this happened. Yeah. We were in Chicago, Chicago area when Chicago this happened. Um, little did we know we know each other. Uh, but we were both in separate parts of our lives, but we were young. And I think that was the first time we were exposed to there being something bad can happen at this level in our world. You both were there. Yeah. You both were, were there. Yeah. I want to hear both of your perspectives, starting with you. Sure, yeah. So I was working for a financial services firm. My office was seven minutes from the World Trade Center walking in heels. Um, <laughs> and I was in the World Trade Center a lot, lots of mm. clients, and I was serving clients in the WTC. That morning was a weird one because we all recollect, and you can see it on video, it was a picture-perfect day, day. Yep. Yeah. blue skies, mm -hmm. I got dressed for work. Mm -hmm and then sat on my couch for 20 minutes trying to think of a reason not to go to work. Really? It was the strangest thing. And my goal was to get to the mall in the mezzanine of the World Trade Center. That was my local mall with J. Crew and Hallmark wow. and Sparrow. A lot wow. of people don't know that that was there. Okay. And I was going to go to Hallmark to buy cards for some of my clients. And as I came out of the subway station at Bowling Green, the North Tower was burning. It had been hit while I was underground in the subway, going under the water to get to Lower Manhattan. Mm. Um, Did you feel anything? Did you know what was going on until you when you there walked? There was out? there was shock. Um, I was standing around with a community of people, and one of them said, it "Must have been a heart attack. A, a small plane hit it. It must have been a heart attack." Mm. But I was remembering in '93 there had been the bombing that happened in New York as well. I wanted to not panic, although people were already starting to scurry, okay. and I was still walking toward the South Tower. Wow! And as people are running the other way, walking. Okay. Not yet running. Okay. And then, as I was about three minutes walk away from the South Tower, I heard the second plane come up behind me, and it flew right into the South Tower. Wow. Everyone right recalls me. hearing the the engine, the the searing piercing. I sound. I heard like an accelerator. I could hear the pilot pressing down on whatever they pressed down on to go faster, and I really thought that I was going to see them try to put the fire out with um, firefighting foam or whatever. Where were, where were you oh. when this happened? I was over in West Orange, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. And the day before, I was about 10 blocks north of the towers. Um, used to work there quite often for my job back then. And uh, we were waiting for our carpool in, in West Orange. Um, and while we were waiting for our carpool is when the first tower was hit. Mm. And uh, so a lot of us, like everybody else, thought it was an accident. Sure. And then after the second tower was hit, we were trying to go upstairs and reroute some fiber optic network uh, signals. And then we went up to the roof of our building and we could see it. Mm -hmm. um, and so about a month later, uh, when we were allowed to go back into the city, uh, I went with a team to kind of do some volunteer work. You could still smell it. Uh, oh, wow. And a month yeah. later. Oh, you could smell later. it six months later. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. wow. You know, so many of us in the newsroom, <clears throat> we even brought up the conversation today. We all remember where we were, right, when mm -hmm. we saw the news. But for you guys to be there, to be in that moment, I'm sure that lives with you every day? Uh, well, you, you think about it less and less mm -hmm. over time, like anything that caused you to grieve, mm -hmm. right? Um, but when the anniversary comes up, I, I sometimes watch the footage again, you know, it always sure. re-airs and mm -hmm. I always shake inside. Sure. Yeah. You even yeah. get paperwork, right? I do, do. sure, yeah. So soon after the event, the city of New York recommended that anybody who was down there, who ended up being covered in asbestos and white powder, mm -hmm. join the World Trade Center Health Registry. And I'll, um, and I'll show this, I'm gonna block obviously the address here, but this is the mail yeah. that you still get. I still get an yeah. annual Christmas card well, yeah. <laughs> from them yeah. and then a, a survey that I need to fill out 
to let them know how I'm doing physically and mentally. Mm -hmm. One of these is asking about grief. One of these is asking about the long-term effects of COVID. So they're watching those of us who are really, really close to the event wow. to see how we've been impacted. Speaking of, because we went way over time for good reason, because I, I, this is just riveting sitting here to hear this from two survivors. Mm -hmm. We want to talk about really quickly what's happening next week here on a yeah. local level. There's yeah. a march. We even have video of the, the route, I believe. Um, tell folks how they can be a part of that mm -hmm. next week. Sure, it's called March to the Memorial, and the concept is a line of American flags walking through South Bend mm -hmm. on 9-11 the entire day. Wow. Um, it was started in St. Louis by somebody else, that's where I'm, I'm from, mm -hmm. and it gives you the chills just seeing the flags. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. No matter where you go, you're going to see some flags somewhere in this, this route. That's correct. And, you know, people who want to join uh, the walk, and walk with us. Mm -hmm. This this distancing is daunting. It's a total of 21 miles, sure. but they can walk a mile or two with us. Right. Uh, but the biggest thing is to bring your American flag. Okay. The whole thing's free. Got free shirts. We'll have some free barbecue, lunch, um, <clears throat> and the website is marchtothememorial.com. Gotcha. Okay. We started it in uh, 2017, and we've been around since, and hoping to keep on growing it. But uh, it's basically like a mini community after a while. Yeah, here, and, and here. there's symbolism to the 21 miles too, Yes, right? it's our 21 gun salute to those we lost. And, you know, to remember the sacrifice that happened that day, there are people that stayed behind getting other people out yeah. and they perished doing that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we, we appreciate you both. Uh, sadly, we have to go. Uh, we'll have everything you need to know on WNDU.com. Thank you, and yeah. I'm so sorry you all had to experience that. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, but it means a lot to hear that we should never forget what happened 23 years ago. And this is your perfect opportunity to yeah. honor those, right? And, right. and bring those American flags, let's line those streets. Let's do them. it, let's do it. Uh, we'll be right back, see you there.